Hello and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson broadcasting live. Pretty overcast conditions here for this match. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. Yes, thanks, Hutto. A real pleasure to be here for this game today. Today's big game is between Carlton and Collingwood. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big, big field battle today. The Jimmy team can get on top in the middle of the ground. We'll walk out winners today. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. Carlton wins the toss. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. And here we go. It's Carlton taking on Collingwood. Hands that ball to the opposition. Hits the target by hand. Kernock slips high and gives away the free kick. Good mark there. Get some distance on the kick. To going. Missed an opportunity to mark. The ball spills to Adams. Kernock will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Phillips used the body to take that mark. Cuts the kick inboard. Great grab. Clears the congestion. Over the top of the pack. 45 metres out. Elliott with a fairly straightforward shot for goal. Going for goal number one. A good result there. And that's a goal for Hollywood. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Puts the first goal on the ball. Back in the middle now. Guides it down. Is in his possession. Doesn't take the mark. Martin able to release the kick. Chris takes it well. Works it from the back half. See, found a way to mark that one. Works it across the ground. Good grab there from Grundy. Decides to kick. Takes it well. A low stabbing kick. Beam runs after this one. O'Brien soccers it forward, collects the loose ball. Walsh gets the loose ball. Martin collects it. Going for goal number one. Marks now and can send it back. Puts it on the boot. Majacek takes the mark. He drives it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Betts urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. This kick to square it up. It was always pushing that post and pushing so hard. It's hit it. Carlton reduced the margin. Players move as they look to provide an option. Elects to kick. He gives chase to the footy. Turned it over. Dug it out. What a goal by McGavin. Gets some reward for his efforts. And it's a lead for Carlton. Umpire ready to resume play. Tap down. With the ball now. 
scoops it up, handballs out into space, missed the target. The mark is taken by Elliott. 45 metres out, should be relatively straightforward from here. Looking to kick, goal number two. A drop part through the goals. Elliott enjoying that goal. Collingwood find themselves in front. Back in the middle. Pittman thumps it forward. Practicing some fancy moves. Fighting hard was Trelaw. Does well to cut off the kick. Jones goes with the kick. Plowman looks to get onto the football. Ends up in a tackle. Coaches love to see that kind of tackle. Barco with a short hand punch. That's a well executed kick for a goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Sidebot is celebrating hard. Collingwood have kicked back to back goals. The lead is now at 11. Pittman has dismissed the tackler. Fisher takes a strong mark. He slams it towards goal. He's excited about that one. Yes, I know. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Fisher getting the crowd involved. We're back in the middle to resume play. Kerno gets onto the ball. Adams soccers the kick. Wasting a lot of effort there. Doherty drives the kick. Marks on the line. Moved on by Grundy. Doing well with the mark. Reed kicks it. Sharonberg found some space and marked. Might be too far out to score. Okay. He takes aim. Close call there, but it just made it for a score. He acknowledges the crowd. The margin is 11. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Reed powers through the tackle. Slams it on the boot. Marking in space was made. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hello. Kick by Kuno. The ball ends up with Simpson. Collingwood just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Cleanly picked up. Just gets it onto the boot. He takes the mark. The kick from Plowman takes a simple grab. Cruiser just took way too long. Didn't get away from that tackle. Constant pressure and rewarded. Collingwood haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect a... Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gaz. Collingwood should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Collingwood have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over, which doesn't make it as dangerous. Ready to go for the second turn. We resume hostilities. Swats it. He wins possession. Trelaw throws the ball away. With a driving kick. Uses it by foot. Fails to fend off the tackler. Brilliant chase. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Winning it was Phillips. Murphy onto the ball. Manages to get it onto the boot. Cox drives the kick. Beams wins the ball in the air. Wants to play on. Jones there to mop up. Now with a low spearing kick. Martin controlling the airwaves on this occasion. 
Puts boot to ball. Finds this one all by himself. Walsh pushes a low ball. The mark is taken by Clowman. Moves it by foot. Picked off by Adams. Gets it away. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Going for goal number one. It somehow fits over the line. And it's a goal. He's enjoying that goal. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. 17 points the difference. Pitnett brushed off easily. Draw flicks it over. Kerno slams it onto the boot. Nice work for Casbolt. 25 metres out. He heads for home, takes the chance, and says thank you very much with that goal. He puts through his first goal. He's excited about that one. Back with another set of bounce. Big thump from Pittenet. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Side bottom runs after this one. Sockers the kick. Doherty won himself a free. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Pittenet. Goes by hand. Side bottom can't hold on to the tackle. Slips the handball to Murphy. Puts it right through the middle. Pretty happy with that one. That's two in a row for Carlton. Carlton behind by five. He did really well there and gets the reward. That's a really good team goal. The game is back underway. Hammers it. Sear hunting with authority. A great defensive effort. It'll be a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Bent with the intercept. Just sends it into space. Kennedy puts his body on the line. Phillips comes away with the ball. Great mark under pressure. Collingwood would love to make the most of this opportunity. Dugowie elects to kick. Barco uses the body well. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. He blasts it through for another. His teammates rush over. Collingwood by 11. About to resume hostilities. Collingwood trail in the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Kerno just threw it. Thomas got under it. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. They continue to get beaten in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Clowman found time to get it on the boot. Main moves it now. Goes for territory. He drives it towards goal. Puts it right through the middle. Dugowie love kicking that one. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 17. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Carlton, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Kerno gurns a free kick, moves the ball by foot. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. It's a foot race to get this one. Grundy goes with the kick. The ball spills to Adams. Sharonberg goes off the ground. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Works it across the ground. Murphy runs after the ball. Sear wins the foot race. Had plenty of the ball. Sear just threw it. He drives it. Finds a bit of room to mark. He has the ball. Marchbank was taken high in the tackle. Goes by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Barco puts it on the boot. How does well to mark. 
Elects to kick it long. They can create from this. Hacking it out of there. Finds a target. Beams releases by hand. Quickly onto the boot. Varko wins the marking contest. 45 metres out. He likes his chances from here. The drop pot sails between the big sticks. This kick has extended their lead. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood have kicked the last three goals. The margin is 23. Opportunity for Phillips. He gets another possession. O'Brien wins the ball in the air. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. A chance to reload the attack now. The loose ball picked up. Not much time left in the quarter. Farman was taken high in the tackle. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes an uncontested mark. Collingwood just up. Elects to kick. You've seen a half hour, Gaz. Your thoughts? Collingwood could have controlled the play well and deserved this lead at halftime. Time to take a look at the stats. One thing Collingwood got really good at is getting the ball inside 50 and then locking it in. They're well on top in that area and... Players back on the field to begin the second half here. We're back in the middle now. Pitnett with the punch. And we'll get a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Wins the race to the ball. Takes them on. Can he put it through? To go. Sends the drop on its way for another goal. That pushes the lead further out. Celebrating hard. Punches are clear. The ball in the hands of Murphy. Getting in the way was Phillips. Lobs the handball. Side bottom just gets it onto the boot. Thomas with the mark. With a driving kick. Picks it up. Just put it on the boot. Takes a strong mark. Martin goes for home. That goal is a cracker. He puts through his first goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Carlton behind by 23. Back with another centre bounce. Clears the contest. Simpson now heading off to the bench for a break. The umpire calls for a stoppage. The Magpies have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Grundy hurls it away. Phillips heads onto the ground. Umpire tosses it in. Clears the contest. Uses a short handle. Here's Fisher. Murphy is streaming past and gets the footy. He's really turning it on now. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. He celebrates hard after that. Carlton now only trailed by 17. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. The Magpies getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Grundy clears the contest. Cruiser gains some territory. Scharenberg throws the ball away. Chose to kick it. Cripps looking to track down the footy. He's in charge of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Finding the ball is Barker. Smiles all round. Collingwood lead by 23. Back in the middle now. Swatson gathers it now. Kerno hands it into open space. At full stride, receives the handball. They are happy with that effort. Thomas getting his first with that kick. He loved that one. Collingwood could kick back-to-back -back goals. 29 points the difference. He did really well there and gets the reward. 
That's a really good team goal. Collingwood are controlling the possession and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Intercepted. Well picked up. Main uses it by foot. A mark by Barker. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Dugowie takes it well. Tough on the handle. Walsh brings it out of the pack. Found space for an easy mark. Mugabe sends one up towards the wing. News uses it by foot. Cripps gets in a good position. Goes with the kick. Good mark by Martin. Handball's out in front. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gas. Just keeps finding the footy. Maynard doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Testing shot outside 50. What can you tell us, Gas? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Gives the old don't argue. He goes for break. Close the gap to 23. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Pitnett won the hit out. Sear gives the don't argue. Cruiser had it, lost it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Side bottom needs a chance to rest. Murphy gets the loose ball. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Packs it out of there. Pittman did well to win that ball. Handball's out into space. Doing well was Kennedy. Marks in a bit of space. Gets a touch to the ball. Casbol did well not to fumble. Hammers it. Applies a bump. Dug out by Maynard. With the ball now. Seen plenty of it. Dugowie quickly onto the boot. The bounce ends up with Jones. Well, now it's a ball up. Pitnet just swats it away. They can create from this. Puts the handball out in front. Receives the handball and takes off. Ruffin has a great set of hands. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Uses it by foot. The mark has been taken. Cruiser with a penetrating handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Receives the handball and takes off. Has a man running for him. Takes the mark all by himself. Main plays it on. Jones cuts it off. Penetrating handball. They can link up now. Coughed up by Cox. Cruiser successfully sold the dummy. Pushes through with power. Kicks in heavy traffic. Marked by Murphy. Keeps it moving. The handball hits the target. Looks up with the kick. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. How moves it now? A strong pack mark. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. We head into the final term with the Magpies 66 playing Carlton 43. Collingwood will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. The Blues could be winning enough of the ball to hit the... We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Pittnet thumped it clear. Beam picks up the loose ball. He wins the ball in the air. Barcock searches for a teammate downfield. 45 metres out. They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. 
Cox tries his luck at goal. It looked impossible, but he made it work. They increased their lead. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood with a handy break. They lead Carlton 72 to 43. Murphy read it best. Loses control of the ball. Phillips charges with intent. Wants to keep it moving. And the mark will be paid. Jones puts it on the boot. Pittnet failing to get near it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Can't take the mark. Jones coming off for a spell. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Kennedy going for number one. He couldn't hang on. Just gets it onto the boot. Just goes bang. Chris finds possession. Intercepted by McGovern. Thank you, Ahmed. Kerno thumps it clear. Ruffin collects the loose ball. Manufactures the handball. McGovern misses the target. Going for goal number one. They get around him after that effort. Carlton reduced the margin. Back in the middle to resume play. Pittnet thumps it forward. Pendlebury on the ball. Scoops up the ball. The loose ball scooped up. Gets the loose ball. Doherty slick with the hands. Murphy hurried kick. A good mark out of the circumstances. Cruiser one out in the square. Weedery can link up through hands. Sear wins it back. Is in his possession. Weedery gets right in his face. Fantastic tackle. He looks like he needs a spell. He celebrates hard after that. They found a way back into this game. This is how they can score, Big Hutter. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. The game is back underway. Pittnet just swats it away. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Sear dishes it off. Rushes with the kick. Collects the loose ball. Spills the mark. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Collected by Murphy. Squeezes out a handball. Bent looks to work it from the turnover. Slams it onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Did well to get a hand in. Marchbank takes advantage. Puts on a big hit. Pendlebury a bit too casual with the tackle. Walsh fires it up to the square. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. Puts his second on the board. He's enjoying that goal. The umpire's set to bounce to restart the game. Cruiser struggling to run at the moment. He can take off after that handball. O'Brien just put it on the booth. Kerno spills it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Casbolt sets his sights on the goals. This well within range. He decides to go for home. The Blues behind by 10. Langdon with the kick in duties. Adams dug out the loose ball. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Adams tucks it into the pocket. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Looks to move it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Chris tucks it into the pocket. Gathered by Adams. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Punches the kick. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. Side bottom wants to keep it moving by hand. Uses the bump. Just manufactures what he could. Side bottom throws the ball away. How takes the mark. 
Puts boot to ball. Chips it towards half forward. Martin couldn't keep his hands on it. Howe goes off the ground. Uses it now. Hits him hard. Trelaw finds his man on the move. Good grab there from Marchbank. Drives the kick hard. Great grab. Pendlebury goes with the kick. Easily takes the mark. The Magpies are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Wiedering gets a quick kick away. Looks like the ball will be coming back. How drives the kick. Dug out the loose ball. Maynard hacking it out of there. Degoe hunted him down. Great tackle. Goes off the ground. Finding the loose ball was Cruiser. A chance to reload the attack now. 45 metres out. About to take the kick. Slight angle. No issues with that drop pass. Majek loves that goal. Collingwood are victorious. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? It's not the prettiest win you'll see, but they managed to get the job done. Side by side, they stick together to uphold the magpie's name. See the barracas are shouting as all barracas should. Final scores are 78 to 62. That's all for today on behalf of myself, Gary Lyon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.